Hey guys, quick by Chemistry Basics here. Let's talk about discovery of mRNA. By 1940s and 1950s, scientists knew that the DNA is the genetic material. Now, if the DNA is the genetic material, then it should play a key role in protein synthesis. So, they had a hypothesis that since DNA is the genetic material, the amino acids might link up on the DNA and form protein. To test this hypothesis, they had a wonderful idea. If the hypothesis is true, then the cells treated with labeled amino acids must demonstrate activity in the nucleus. If the hypothesis is false, then the activity of labeled amino acids must be detected somewhere else and not in the nucleus. The experiment was done by treating the cells with labeled amino acids and detecting the activity by autoradiography. The autoradiography showed something amazing. The activity was detected on the endoplasmic reticulum and not on the nucleus. They further fractionated the cells by ultracentrifugation and found that the activity of labeled amino acids was detected on the ribosomes. This means there must be something that brings information from the DNA to the ribosome. So they had a hypothesis that there might be an RNA that brings the information from the DNA to the ribosome for protein synthesis. So they repeated the same experiment with labeled uracil and separated the cell components by ultracentrifugation. The activity of labeled uracil was detected on the ribosome. This means there is some RNA that brings the information from DNA to the ribosome. However, some scientists argued that since ribosome itself is made up of protein and RNA, the experimental results might be vague. So, they repeated the same experiment in prokaryotic system using bacterial cells and bacteriophage. Now, when bacteriophage undergoes lytic cycle, it takes control over the host metabolism to synthesize new particles. It is during this step the label uracil was added to the system. When the lytic cycle was complete, the cells were fractionated by ultracentrifugation, and surprisingly, the activity was detected on the ribosome. They took these ribosomes and disassociated them by lowering the concentration of magnesium ions. The labeled RNA was precipitated and purified in large amount. This labeled RNA was then mixed with bacteriophage DNA which was heated at 94 degrees Celsius. When this mixture was allowed to cool, they performed density gradient centrifugation and found that the label RNA was hybridized with the phage DNA. This hybridization was also confirmed by transmission electron microscopy and the RNA was termed as the messenger RNA since it carried the information from the DNA to the ribosome.